Suicide or genocide? My family's Sophia choice. Leo ne never said goodbye. The day his mother died. The day she had to make her choice, suicide or genocide. And Leo never said goodbye. The day his grandpa died. The day he had to make his choice, suicide or genocide. Leon was a boy of 12 when he endured this hell. I now proudly bear his name, his story I must tell. Looking out the window, fear filled Sophia's sky. Leon, my lion, turn away. Don't watch your mother cry. On the 29th of May, Leon's mother made her choice. Nazis can take my property, but not my Jewish voice. I'll jump from this sixth floor window. This my final act, suicide before genocide like the heroes of Masada. Leon never said goodbye the day his mother died, the day she had to make her choice, suicide or genocide. Leon's grandpa was a scholar, the wisest in Sophia. They burned his Jewish library to add insult to injury. At the train station to Treblinka, he had to make a choice. He took a rope and hung himself. There's no point in living without family. Leon never said goodbye the day his grandpa died, the day he had to make his choice, suicide or genocide. They say Leon was lucky, expelled to Kundestil, the mountains of Bulgaria, a work camp on the border. Work didn't make him free, but it did keep him alive. 100 grams of bread a day, a ditch of dirty water. Leon became a skeleton, still they said work harder. Why do they make us make this choice? suicide or genocide. They say because Zid tu Asust, the Jew he is a cheater, the butcher who puts dead rats in your meat, a fraudster and a monster, the cowman who waters down your milk, a swindler and a liar, the baker who needs dough with his feet stomping ants for you to eat. Zid tu Asust, Zid tu Asust, the Yid he is a cheat.